Hi guys, welcome back to our Wellness Wednesday series and we have spoken about cortisol hormone and seen when is cortisol secreted. So cortisol hormone is related to our stress but this stress really affects our body on many different levels. Not just mental but also physical, not just physical but also emotional and all of that. It entirely affects our life. So today let's see how does that work and why that happens. So when this stress level is very high for very long time, that is when it starts affecting us on our mental level. It poses risk of mental diseases. There is depression, there is anxiety, there is panic attacks and lot more. All that can be caused for prolonged stress response. Also, it affects us on a physical level. So it increases stress on our organs. It puts lot of stress on our metabolic processes and that is how our organs start functioning abnormally. It can also create hormonal imbalances. It also creates skin diseases. So there are a lot of skin diseases which are simple skin diseases or grave skin diseases but many are connected or have a cause as stress. So stress can cause as simple as acne, pimple, rosacea or it can give you psoriasis, lichen planus or eczema. So yes, this end to that end can be caused due to stress. Now when there is stress, what exactly does that mean? So we've seen in the video of cortisol that how and why the cortisol is secreted. So right now we quickly take a recap that whenever you are under stress, be it mental or physical for a very long time, that is when your body experiences cortisol secretion. So you're fearful, you're confused, you're stressed, you're worried on a mental level, you feel at risk, vulnerable, or you feel threatened, you feel abused. All these situations, there is stress that is created and cortisol secretion happens. Whenever you're physically stressed, so you're overworked, you're not sleeping properly, your blood sugar levels are dropping, you're not eating enough, nutrition is not proper or you are doing excessive exercise for very long time and burning out your body. In all these situations also stress is created and cortisols are secreted. Stress has become a very big part of our modern lifestyle. The kind of busy life that we have and as the world has come very close because of internet, because of availability of all the things, stress has also become part of daily routine. But then managing the stress is very, very important. Like I said, it affects us on a mental and physical level. It not just causes these skin issues or organ disturbances, hormonal disturbances, but it also makes you gain weight or lose weight. So whenever you stress, the instant body response is store up energy, store up fat, because body does not know how long you are going to be under this situation, under the weather, under the stress and to prepare for those next moments, body starts storing up extra fats, extra energy to supply. Also, cortisol secretion makes our body mobilize all the fats and carbohydrates to supply to extra energy in those stressful situations. But this in turn creates extra hunger and craving for salty, fatty and sugary food. And that is why when we are stressed for a very long time, people experience weight gain. But at the same time, there is a group of people who experience weight loss, excessive weight loss during stress because they have adrenaline trigger and this adrenaline trigger will always make you lose your appetite. You will not feel hungry, you will not feel like eating, you will feel depressed, you will feel like not having anything, just sleeping the entire day. This also can be effect of stress. There are also people who do binge eating when they are stressed and that also leads to weight gain. So now you understand that this cortisol secretion or being under stress can affect you on a mental level, on your work capacity level, your thinking capacity level, on your weight, on your skin, on your hormonal level, on your organs. It can create impact on all different planes of your life all different levels, right? And when you're stressed, you can't think properly, you can't think clearly, you don't feel confident, you can't sleep well. And that is when your brain capacity starts reducing. 
you cannot make good decision making you cannot have good memory you do not have good knowledge retention when you are continuously stressed so that is going to affect you on your work front as well and that in turn is going to affect you on a financial front as well so all in all we understand that stress impacts us on all possible levels of our life so having stress for very long time is not a good idea like i said the stress has become a big part of our, our routine life but then along with that we also have lot of options to de-stress ourselves so don't forget to apply all of them so guys if you're feeling very stressed firstly recognize what is the source of that stress see if you can eliminate that source try avoiding those situations try stopping those stress cycles vicious cycles and try taking yourself out of those situation away from those situation breaking those habits but also whenever you need take professional help talk to a mental health professional talk to a counselor you can start with talking to your friends and family but if that does not help that is not enough then there is no harm in taking professional help and guys start meditating sleeping on time be more mindful focus on your own life stop getting too much involved in too much stressful situations you can't do it all you can't have it all so stop pushing yourself too much to try and achieve everything at the same time all these things will help you in reducing stress and not create all those impacts on your health on your life so guys now that we have spoken about happy hormones we have spoken about cortisol we have spoken about stress and its effects and solutions to reduce the stress i think we've covered almost all of it so don't forget to apply this and make your life happier and healthier i'll see you next week with another video but till then take care bye